Hello everyone and welcome to this 10th MOOC of refiningisexciting.com dedicated to the FCC fractionation section. For information, it is better to have already seen the MOOC dedicated to the FCC reaction section before following this new MOOC, even if it's not mandatory. In this MOOC, after a few reminders as an introduction, we will see how to separate all the molecules that have been cracked in the reaction section. We'll start by talking about the main fractionation column, then the separation process of light cuts, namely fuel gas, LPG and gasoline. Then we will detail the production of heavier cuts, namely LCO and slurry. We will end by describing the product properties and their future destination in the refinery. I hope that at the end of this MOOC you will be in a position to fully understand the objectives of each of the equipment in the fractionation section of FCC. Let's start with an introduction. In the first 10 videos dedicated to the FCC reaction section, we recalled the role and the position of the FCC unit within a refinery. We recalled that the typical field of a FCC unit is the video cut. This video cut has a typical distillation range from 375 to 550 degrees C. We also saw that the FCC was made up of four main sections and we described in detail the operation of the reaction section, the regenerator and the flue gas treatment section. As a reminder, the FCC feed is preheated up to 220 degrees C. Then it enters the reactor where it is put in contact with a very hot catalyst. This catalyst provides the calories needed to vaporize the feed, but also to ensure that the mixture reaches the reaction temperature. This temperature is usually in the range of 510 to 530 degrees C. The reactor pressure is about 1.5 bar above atmospheric pressure. In the reactor, as soon as the vaporized video meets the catalyst, it undergoes a multitude of cracking reactions that lead to the formation of a mixture of molecules. The range of these cracked molecules goes from methane to molecules the boiling point corresponding to that of a diesel and beyond. As a reminder, here are the typical reactor yields. We recall that about 5 weight percent of the feed is transformed into coke and deposited on the surface of the catalyst in the reactor. This coke is then burnt in the regenerator. Once this mixture of molecules is produced in the reactor in gas form at a temperature of around 520 degrees C, it must be separated into cuts that can be incorporated into the finished fuel produced by the refinery. We will typically produce a fuel gas cut, a LPG cut, several gasoline cuts, a diesel cut, and finally a slurry cut. We will later detail the final destination of these cuts. This being said, we can now focus on the FCC fractionation section process. In the meantime, do not forget to test your knowledge by answering the five questions available in the quiz. The link to the quiz is available in the description of the video. You can also get a certificate if you ask for it. I also invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep you informed about the upcoming videos. See you very soon for the second part. Bye bye!